The following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve from Boatest.com, and today I'm on the Aquila 44. Now, the design team at Aquila told me that they made this to be an offshore distance cruising power cat with the versatility to easily transition from entertaining to long periods away from the dock. Let's take a full features walkthrough and see how they've done. To the aft side of each hull, there's a swim platform. To the port side, there's a swim ladder. Both platforms come out three feet seven inches and always with catamarans I'm impressed with the sheer amount of volume and space that's available. Here Aquila even takes better advantage of that by having this extended seating pod that comes out five feet two inches. Extended platforms come out so that we can put a tender on top with chocks that go into the tracks. It gets loaded with this crane that has a capacity of 350 kilograms and I like this setup because it seems to have much more of an integrated look to this stern section. Another advantage of having this extended seating pod is that we have storage inside. Not only is it accessible from under the seat cushions, but also from the sides, and it goes all the way across. A great place for putting boat hooks, long-handled brooms, that kind of thing. Now we can access the cockpit deck from stairs to both port and starboard, and notice how the stairs are designed as such that they make a great sitting area so you can watch the kids swimming off the stern. As I come up the stairs, I'd like to see a gate at the top of the stairs to help protect this aft deck. One to each side would be nice. To the aft side of this deck, we've got the U-shaped seating. and We already talked about how there's storage under all of the seats, but take a look under this port seat. Here we have a built-in insulated cooler. The seating wraps around the pedestal table with four beverage holders in the middle and it's on a high-low pedestal so we can lower the table, add a filler cushion and turn this entire area into a sun pad. Now there's storage underneath the deck and most of this is protected under the extended overhead seven feet off the deck and take a look at these stanchions, how thick and beefy they are. High points to Aquila for that. Now we've got stools that add to the seating in this deck but they're right in front of a glass bulkhead that consists of this door that opens up and I can also open up this window and by doing this, once it's fully extended, I latch it into position and now these become bar stools right at the counter of the aft galley which is right in the center of both gathering areas on the main deck. Now there's yet another gathering and entertainment area up on the flying bridge so let's take a look at that. As we make our way up there, the first thing I notice is this stairway. It's not steep like you would typically find on a boat. In fact, it's at a nice shallow angle, more like you'd see in your home. Well, the first thing we have is an aft seating area, U-shaped, wrapping around a pedestal table on a fixed pedestal. Four lighted beverage holders in the center, all under the protection of the extended overhead. And of course, the leads can be lowered to provide even more room. Just ahead, take a look at this. Underneath the hatch, sink, prep counter, electric grill with a heat shield above. I'd like to see a shutoff switch to kill the power to the electric grill when the hatch comes down. Below, there's storage, ice maker, we can even add a refrigerator. As we move forward, there are two more seating areas. One consists of an L-shaped seat wrapping around the helm, so we're always in good company with the captain. The other is a lounge seat over to starboard that we can use facing forward or face inward towards the captain. And I have to say I'm most impressed with this hardtop, not only with how beefy it is, but by the sheer volume of it. And look at the size of the stanchions that are all attached to it, including on the arch to the back of the flying bridge. And I have to say, I'm very happy with Aquila's thoughtful touch of adding a secondary access point from the main operating station to the working end of the bow. And yes, we have an awful lot of open real estate here, and at present, Aquila doesn't have any options for adding pads or lounges to this area, but that's easily taken care of aftermarket. Seats integrated into the bow rails to both port and starboard make a comfortable place to relax. The galley consists of two areas, one to port and a smaller subsection to starboard. Let's start by taking a look at the port side area. This area starts with storage at the top, a convection microwave oven, more storage underneath, an induction two burner cooktop, and then we've got plenty of open counter space underneath the covers. Take a look at this. Ideal for an owner operator's boat, a dish drying area so we can always have just the two, three dishes getting continually cleaned and put into the drying area. Stainless steel double basin sink underneath. Plenty of additional storage. To the side, a pull-out trash receptacle. Now over to the starboard side, we have more open counter space, great for a buffet serving area. Below, a refrigerator, 
freezer, and even more storage. Now, because this is a boat that's designed to be away from the dock for long periods of time, we need a lot of storage, and not only are we accommodating it all around the boat, but take a look at this. Just under the deck, massive dry storage area. Now as we move forward, we transition into the dining area and salon area up a six inch step. Our headroom goes from six feet 11 inches to six feet five inches. Let's take a look at the dining area first. U-shaped seating surrounds a table on a fixed pedestal. This can also be a high-low table so that we can lower and form it into a berth. We can also close off the table to add a little more room as we get in and out of the seating and notice the stainless steel grab handle. Now over to the opposite side, plenty of open counter space, great for another buffet serving area. TV is underneath on an electrically actuated lift. And more importantly, once it's up, we can also rotate it so that it can be seen anywhere in the room. There's plenty of open counter space just beyond, below plenty of storage, including a wine chiller. And now's a good time to talk about the fit and finish that we're seeing throughout this boat. Here it consists of the Corian counters. Look at this leather surface, laminate with hardwood trim. Up above the overhead is leather and includes recessed lighting. As an alternative, we can go with this light ash color that's got a satin finish, a raised veneer, and still the hardwood trim. And as a third alternative, there's a cherry interior. And of course, how can we not mention the outstanding panoramic visibility that's almost completely wrapping around this deck? Now let's move to taking a look at the accommodations, which on a catamaran typically consist of a cabin in each of the hulls. One may be bigger than the other for the master, but that's not the case on the Aquila 44. In this instance, all the way up forward, take a look at this. A full beam ensuite master stateroom. What beautiful accommodations and spacious six foot four inch overhead clearance decreases slightly as we move forward. Island queen berth right in the center six feet seven inches by five feet nine inches. There are several storage compartments under the mattress. There are storage to the nightstands to both sides of the berth, high and low. Now over to the starboard side, bit of an office space where we have a desk. There's storage underneath. It can also be used as a lighted vanity with a mirror underneath the hatch. Just ahead, plenty of closet space. This can be converted into a laundry with a stacked washer and dryer. There's additional storage alongside, behind, and another closet right over here. All this coupled with a full-length mirror. And there's so much natural light coming into this stateroom from the side window with an opening port light, an overhead hatch, another side window leading out to the side deck. There are two overhead hatches above the berth and then all of that natural light is continued over on the port hand side where we have the master head. Let's take a look. The head includes a vessel sink on top of a Corian counter. There's storage below and above to both sides of the mirror. There's a walk-in shower with teak decking and a teak seat. Behind there's a hull side window with an opening port light. Now, this is a three stateroom, three head motor yacht. Just ahead of the galley, I've got a companionway to port and starboard that lead to the guest staterooms with their ensuite heads. Let's take a look. Seven foot high maximum ceiling clearance drops down to a minimum of six feet five inches. That coupled with the natural light coming in from the side window and the overhead hatch just really makes it a welcoming environment. The berth, I'm surprised to see that it's not like most catamarans where it's mounted athwartships. Here it runs along the keel, which to me gives it a little bit more roominess and it's accessible from two sides. Memory foam mattress and storage all around and even underneath the mattress. As we make our way out, I mean, look at this doorway. It's 30 inches wide. There's just nothing about this boat that makes you feel closed in or cramped at all. There's so much space. To the side here, storage both high and low. There's a full length mirror on the door to the head. Inside here, we've got mirrored cabinets, a vessel sink on top of a Corian counter, storage underneath, a walk-in shower with teak decking and a teak step. There's a hull side window with an opening port light and an overhead hatch. Now coming out, take a look at this. I love this feature. Window right to the water. 
And all of this is repeated over to the other side, including that little window to the water. Clearly, it seems to me that we've got a boat with plenty of open space, lots of entertainment value, great for overnighting or extended times away from the dock or even live aboard. And that's my full features inspection of the Aquila 44. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.